Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving epic blogger, Tom Choo Choo. So as you all know, I have recently paused my ketogenic diet for about maybe a month now, and it was because of a horrible keto rash that I finally had to throw my towel and stopped for this journey. So I'll put the link down below so you can see how horrible it turned out. But that doesn't stop me from jumping back into this keto journey, or else I wouldn't know what to do with my YouTube channel. Duh! I had the experience of 131 days on this keto journey, and from what I have been, I have seen amazing results and transformations internally. Well, externally, I still have a lot of work. But guess what? I have fixed my shoulder pain. My gallbladder issues, and all because of keto. So if you decided to go on this fat diet, here are four tips and tricks that I personally think that will help you to jumpstart your diet. And before we start, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upload. Now let's get on with it. Choo choo. Tips and tricks number one: Don't worry too much about your macros. There are people out there that will tell you to get very strict when you first start keto. Well, true, your macros are supposed to keep at 5% carbs and 15 to 20% proteins and 75 to 80% fats. But if you keep worrying about your macros, then you definitely will get stressed about it, and eventually you're going to quit. And stress is a huge factor of this diet, so don't get too stressed out about it in the beginning. Well, oh, and cheese will help too if you are not allergic to it. Just load them up and add it on everything. I mean, that should give you a good start. Tips and tricks number two: Learn to read your labels. We often have to fall into traps of keto gurus and get the things that they recommended without knowing what's inside. But everyone's different, so it's best to determine what kind of food is good for you and for you only. After all, you're the one who's putting all this food in your mouth, so read the label. Generally speaking, you need to watch out for your carbs intake. So if there's high carbohydrates, you just need to be careful. Why didn't I say don't eat them? Well, because vegetables. Are also carbs in the keto realm, but dietary fibers will subtract the carbs count. So if a food source has two grams of carbs and two grams of dietary fibers, that means it has zero grams of carb.、Hmm? Well, that's just a general idea. There are gurus out there that will argue that you should count dietary fibers as half grams of the carb. But use your best judgment. I mean, I wouldn't worry about that in the beginning. Tips and tricks number three: Eat your whole food. I don't mean the supermarket. <laughs> I know you probably have seen those keto sugar-free cookies and bread and cakes. Try to avoid that in the beginning because they are too complex for your body to digest. And if your body is not in ketosis yet, then it'll probably take a longer time to get there. Just stay with your meat, veggies, and fat. I think that will get you there much quicker. Tips and tricks number four: Drink your water and eat your salt. I had many, many leg cramps at night when I first got into this keto journey, and there were many, many reasons why I got them. It could be magnesium or potassium deficiency, or I just didn't drink enough water. The keto diet in the beginning will let you shed a lot of water weight, and you are going to pee a lot. So always replenish more water and pink salt because it has magnesium and potassium. Oh, and this will help you with your keto flu symptoms too. Now here's a tips and tricks bonus for you. I mean, I think this is just an option, but. Don't do intermittent fasting in the beginning if you're very new to this,、huh? and I'm sure a lot of keto gurus will disagree. Intermittent fasting is great to trigger autophagy, which has a lot of benefits along with the ketogenic diet. But it also stresses out your body much quicker, which might cause an inflammation response known as the keto rash. 
I mean, there are many reasons why keto rash occurred, but the real reason is still unknown. So I wouldn't want you to risk it. Well, I suffered from keto rash, and I was doing a 16 to 8 intermittent fasting while I was on this keto journey. And boy, it was itchy. Don't always think that you have to go big or go home, because look at New Year resolution. It never worked. So find a way that's more sustainable for you. Well, I hope this will help you to jumpstart your keto journey. Well, I'm also thinking about jump back into this keto journey so I can do it with y'all. Best luck to you all. Please like and subscribe and comment down below and tell me what you want to see next. I'll see you next time. Peace.